So the first time that I can remember being interested in doing makeup was when I was a kid. Um, my uncle uh, showed me a cassette of his the making of the Thriller music video for Michael Jackson. Um, and I was able to see all the behind the scenes of them creating the zombie looks and the Wolfman look. And that was all really, really interesting to me. So that is uh, kind of what kickstarted it all. Um, and I've always loved Halloween and little by little I strayed away from um, buying Party City costumes and making my own and that kind of bled into doing makeups. One of the first uh, makeup looks that I did when I officially started um, my 30 days of Halloween um, was The Crow. <laughs> um, for some reason that was just always really uh, a personal um, favorite of mine. I mean, it's it's pretty basic. It's just white makeup with some black eyeliner and black lipstick and smudging a little bit. But it was pretty basic. Um, and from there, I kind of just wanted to do more gory and more uh, special effects stuff rather than, you know, simple makeup and face paint. I was really, really proud of the year that I started using latex. Um, and uh, building my own prosthetics. Um, I, there was this one year I, I started using latex and, and cotton and toilet paper to make prosthetics. And let me tell you, that's a really, really long process because every layer has to dry before you can paint it. So it was me up until three, four o'clock in the morning doing makeup on myself. Um, and that year I did a couple of different looks uh, like that, including, um, the Crypt Keeper uh, from Tales from the Crypt. I also did Nemesis uh, from Resident Evil. Since I graduated high school, then college, then got my master's degree and got my teaching degree and all of that stuff, you know, I was always working towards something. Um, and once I quit my teaching job, it kind of like fell into a plateau where I wasn't really going anywhere. I wasn't working towards anything. Um, and it kind of felt like I was at a standstill, but setting this challenge for myself really helped me uh, have a goal in mind and feel like I'm working towards something again. Um, and every time that it's, you know, three, four, five o'clock in the morning and I'm still working on makeup or still taking pictures or whatever the case may be, um, I, what drives me is uh, I'm, I'm an ambitious Slytherin, so I have to get it done and I have to, you know, finish my end goal. And uh, I, I definitely like the feeling of accomplishment. So there have been a, a couple that were really, really long and grueling when I turned my little niece into uh, the Demogorgon from Stranger Things. Um, it didn't take a lot of time to apply it to her, but creating the prosthetic of uh, the flower head face thing um, required uh, molding hundreds of small little plastic teeth with uh, thermoplastic. Um, and then gluing them individually onto the flower head piece that I created. Um, and that took an insane amount of time. So my work is on my Instagram, which is Ryan, R-I-A-N dot October. Um, it's on Instagram, yeah, it is on Instagram. Um, and uh, I have my next 31 uh, days of Halloween makeup coming up this October. Um, I've got a lot of surprises in store this year, a lot more uh, challenging myself and, and stepping up the special effects game, uh, at least by my standards. <laughs> Every year I try to challenge myself a little bit more. Um, but it's it's gonna be a good year. Every year is a good year, but every year I do a little bit more. So that's why I'm planning way in advance. <laughs> so that's that's what's coming.